Hello everyone, I am Oracle Unicorn and welcome to Shaman Messages. I literally just rose up out of bed. Yeah. So, this is a weekly reading for Virgo. Virgo, I'm trying to decide what deck do I want to use. I don't know what deck do I want to clarify that deck with. <laughs> okay. Just kind of got up, was like, yep, doing the reading. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel this wave of interesting energy with y'all. Uh, I'm going to use this deck. I'm going to use my shaman deck with y'all because I always use. Yeah, okay. So please keep in mind this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. That's too many cards for a go. I'll take that one though. Okay. Please leave the rest. Uh, put some things in your back pocket. You never know, you might need it for later. Um, oh, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share on social media. You never know who else might uh, end up seeing this uh, reading and it really helped them. Or just play and simple, make their day. I don't even know. But, hey, look at that. Um, oh, don't forget to check your moon rising and venus signs as my videos do cross connect with each other and uh because you may be able to put together the full picture within the situation through videos through different videos okay yeah so virgo okay i don't understand i usually go somehow figure out how I'm going to go get some coffee, wake up for a little bit, and then do readings. And I'm sitting here like, whoop, I'm doing a reading right now. Oh, okay. That's what I'm doing. I am getting up. No coffee. No nothing. Fresh with my, taking my blindfold off, which is why my eyes get all like, I can't sleep with light. It doesn't work. Virgo. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Three more cards for Virgo. Please. Thank you. All my guides. Ancestors. And spirit animals. Oh. Okay, Virgo. You already got, like, wow, this came out for someone else, too, who was it, Aquarius was my last reading, did this come out for Aquarius, I think this came out for Aquarius, so if you're dealing with Aquarius, or you have Aquarius in your chart, I definitely would watch the Aquarius last week's reading, but technically Aquarius is, is this week. So, um, yeah, go watch Aquarius <laughs> that I did on Friday. They got the same thing along with um, Wish, yeah, along with the Wish card. And I'm pretty sure they got the Caution one and they got this one too. I did this one with, I did this with Aquarius. You may be dealing with an Aquarius, okay? And you probably have um, metamorphical open heart surgery of love received and loved give given. Just like I said with Aquarius, you may be doing or going to be coming into a heart to heart conversation with someone, putting things into balance and um, eliminating some detract or deception when it comes to, um, some of it is imaginary fears, but I feel some of it is realistic caution as to why you're having this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. And uh, it's a lot of energy. It's, it's like you are like very, very overly, like extremely nervous about this too. 
but just to kind of put that out there. Um, but after you really um, eliminate the imaginary fears within this and the unreal hazards that was you were kind of putting up a block with when it came to this other person, um, there's going to be a lot of motivation, a lot of joy, a lot of happiness within this. Um, and it's like a, a serious, huge, unified connection with yourself, to be personally honest. You're going to feel the weight just completely lifted up off your shoulders over this. It was like it was waiting for you to just say it all, just release it all. And you come into a spiritual connection with balance with yourself and starting to really see the small clues and um, the little bits of uh, guidance that you've been getting with direct communication with the Fae, I feel. Because that's also what this card means, it's direct communication with the Fae. I feel you're very chapped in when it comes to the energy realms of the Fae. And you're exploring your self-expression and being able to be open with your emotions and your self-expression when it comes to freedom or your exp uh, expressing your freedom, how you have trans come to a view, a, a, a heightened self of transformation with compassion. It's like you're coming to be able to use your communication in more of a compassion sense when it comes to your friends. And you could possibly, for some of you, be getting aid and help from friends, possibly about this issue and how you're going to be able to go about it, how to be able to like come to a sense of release with this. Wow, yeah, understanding the natural nature of love, or the natural nature of nature, passing through new life and timeless endings, you coming into death with the old and coming to see promise of the future. Um, that's interesting. I would definitely see that Aquarius video because there's a lot that ties in with that. Um, what next? Okay. really awesome you have a lot of the light essence like the singers yeah because you got singer connection and a lot of the like the singers <laughs> uh, see you do have the Sun card upside down so but I feel with this one is that the sun uh, is upside down possibly with a fire energy. Things aren't going really well when it comes to this fire energy. And you're going into a spiritual connection and like shining light upon the matters when it comes to someone that is a king of bows. It could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Shining light upon that, really being able to open up your own heart chakra and... Um, honoring your own emotions and boundaries in a scenario okay or within a situation or anything you might want to release um. you got the queen of arrows which is also the queen of swords which is interesting because and the, the, the that is also an Aquarius card or someone that um, really represents the energy of uh, standing in her truths, being clear with her tongue about her truths. Um, and you're going to feel like, because maybe you could be stepping in this energy and coming into joy and you feel like it everything's not going to be okay or work out in a easy way with this um revealing of truth possibly especially when it comes to opening your heart chakra out and um i feel like releasing some things because in the last few weeks you've had the concealment card now you're having a lot of like releasing cards 
so um i feel like you're coming into the energy of releasing but i don't feel like you are really have like come into doing it yet some of you maybe you have about loss of respect loss of respect within a home eliminating boredom upon a situation i'm going through a little bit of struggle in it be wary when it comes to anger your anger in things because that's what's holding you back okay wow virgo bb oh easy easy virgo you don't have to be so mad i know it's probably extremely hard things are going extremely rough oh be easy be easy because you don't want to pull out because some of you may have aquarius in your chart you don't want to pull out that sword and say things that's just going to make things harder on you um y'all are really good at being able to just be quiet through everything and just you know literally get through this issue and keep going but i feel as if like you are just you're, you're getting to the point to where your anger is i'm it's it's clarifying the fae the the fae card um don't let your anger get the best of you don't let no matter what's going on when it comes to possibly your home life or lack of respect and something that you're getting extremely frustrated and angry about you're really wanting to release the truth and certain things just be wary on how you do it and how you go about it okay especially with having this anger card and abundance upside down but going into releasing this with a sense of respect for yourself and how you feel um the struggle is going to end okay two that don't ever happen you got both the struggle cards but in one area you do have a little bit of struggling going on um feeling left out in the cold it's okay don't be angry that things are going to um in this seasonal change things are going to start changing the struggle is not going to be as hard um you are starting towards an endeavor um no longer questioning yourself when it comes to this direction It's like you're understanding the natural wisdom behind everything that you have going on. Just be wary of this anger and frustration. Really, because this can cause a lot of blockage for you. Allow yourself to kind of like hold it there. Yeah, okay, I get it. I'm not even gonna let it phase me. Keep walking. Let's see. <laughs> Laugh. Laugh at it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Virgo, you're gonna have to laugh at it just to keep yourself from snapping. <laughs> you're just gonna have to just laugh. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's gonna be your trick. You're gonna have to laugh through it. <laughs> like, it's just, that's... I really feel for a lot of you Virgos out there, that's your lesson into this. And then everything's literally going to shift in your favor. Everything's going to be great because you have, it's all good card upside down. Um, you're going to gain a sense of amazing joy and balance and self-respect for yourself. Not allowing you to get, not allowing yourself to literally get triggered into aggression and anger. That is your 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 guidance that the phase are helping you to um, really step into in a passionate endeavor, and the struggle literally ends over you being able to do this. Like you just anything that makes you frustrated, anything that has made you angry, and you've blown up before, 
you're literally turning a 180 on it and you're just looking at it and you're just laughing at it <laughs> and guard laugh and guard for some of you I feel as you like they're telling me you're gonna have to guard but um just laugh through it too because that is how you're going to really not um, emotionally hurt yourself through when it comes to this anger card okay when it comes to getting frustrated frustrated over these situations when it comes to talking about something hold back all of that and release it through laughing laugh at it laugh at it oh my gosh please laugh at it that is one of the most favorite things that I love when it comes to um, being um, a pagan and doing like ritual shit, ritual ceremony stuff is to cleanse an energy that has completely just not went the right way you've wanted it to go. You pause and you stop and y'all all just laugh to cleanse the energy in the circle. Yeah, we laugh to cleanse the energy of the circle and then start over. I love it. <laughs> it's like, I love it. And that's what I feel is they're dragging you into. They're pushing you and pushing you because they're just like, just laugh at it. Don't even worry too much about it. All right. So, Virgos, this is all I have for you. Thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate y'all. Don't forget to like, su subscribe, and share. And thank you for all of you who have been following me. My heart goes out to you, and I will see you next week. Goodbye.